Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your February 2018 reading. We're going to see what comes up. Generally, love comes up. I will label this however it comes up and we'll just go from there. This is intended to be for the month of February. Now just take what resonates and leave the rest. Shadow. Ooh. Do you realize the energy that you put out? Do you realize how other people see you? How do you see yourself? Do people see what you see? Indecision. Which way do I go? That's the question. This way or that way? It appears that you have two different paths. Do you see? You have two different paths, Virgo. Which way? Left or right? Backwards or forwards? One way or the other? What's it going to be? The time is now to make a decision. Decision. It's decision making time. Eights are the time is now. You happen to have two eights in this first two cards. Eight, eight. Okay? It's time to make a decision in February. Okay? It's decision making time. The time is now. I'm going to try like heck to remember to zoom this camera in. I've had a really rough time remembering that lately, so if I forget, I do apologize. You are being faced with a very tough decision. And I feel like you are being called to look outside of yourself for the answer. Okay? Look outside of yourself. And I know that's hard to do. You have a lot of fear. You're afraid to take action. You are. I see that you're afraid to take action. It's like you are completely stalled. The fear inside of you is huge, huge. It's like you have completely stalled anything because you can't move forward and you can't move forward out of fear. But the fact of the matter is, is that you are looking for you're looking for a new path. You are. You want to go down a new path. You are you want um, peace. You want harmony. You want things to be calm again. You are looking for things to just quiet down. If things could just quiet down and get to a place of peace, everything would be good. But the fact of the matter is, is there's some relationship problems, okay? Ten of Cups reversed. There's something wrong in regards to your relationship. Uh, you may be, um, there could be some dreams that are dying within a relationship, okay? And you're just longing to move out of this troubled situation. But you have these fears of taking action even though there's some dreams that are dying
you know, there's a period, you know, you, you're so close to making a decision. You have so many choices. It's like, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. You know that there's other options ahead of you. Okay. There are plenty of, uh, different routes to your destiny, to your, to your wish fulfillment, but it feels like you're staying in a spot that fulfills perhaps your materialistic security, you know, your financial security, something like that. It feels to me like you're staying in a spot where you are secure but you're not feeling loved. And that's why you have to make a choice. That's what this choice is about, put it that way. Do I stay where I'm secure? Or do I step onto the new path? Do I step into the unknown? There's been some trouble. There's been some trouble in your relationship. It feels like there's been some kind of breakup or you're considering a breakup. And you just can't, you just can't do it even though you want to do it. This is actually the two of cups. I said ten of cups earlier, but I should have said two. That happens for a reason. No, there's the Ten of Cups. Oh, no wonder. Makes a lot of sense, huh? Amazing how that happened. I knew there was a reason for it. Anyhow, um, and things happen during my readings like this all the time. And I know that if you guys have been watching me for a while, you absolutely know that. Um, many of you could be dealing with a Taurus. All right. You could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries, uh, Leo or Sagittarius. But it feels like you just want to come out of this conflict you're ready to follow your own path. You're ready to open up. You're ready to believe in yourself. You're starting to believe in yourself more and more every day. Uh, it feels like you're seeking guidance to the highest degree. You're looking for the answers because there's relationship problems. Something is not working out and you're just seeking for the answers. Please, please give me the answers. What is the right path to take? Please tell me. Please just lead me down that path. I don't want these conflicts anymore, even if they're inner conflicts. It feels like you guys, perhaps you're staying wherever you're staying because you don't want the conflict. You know, you're, you're just trying to uh, escape reality by pretending that everything's okay because you don't want, first of all, you don't want the conflict. Second of all, I feel like you don't want any legal battles, okay? You don't want any legal issues. So you're trying to keep things at peace. But in your mind, things are not at peace. Your hopes and wishes are not being fulfilled. They're not. You're not letting yourself heal. You're not letting yourself have peace of mind. The peace of mind is not here because your wishes are not fulfilled in this current situation. It could be in a current commitment, a current relationship, a current marriage commitment between two people that is falling apart. It's not fulfilling your wishes. There's trouble within the relationship, within the family, within the dynamics. And one of, for some of you, the reason you're staying is because of the children, you know, and because of the security. And that's, I mean, that's what I see. As a child, she's holding her child, you know, but there's problems. It's reversed. Okay, and the thing is, is you aren't seeing things clearly because you're, you're, it feels to me like you're staying in this situation only for uh, security reasons, you know, but it has nothing to do with love. <laughs> with the two of cups, seven of cups, and the ten of cups reversed, this has nothing to do with love. You know, you're not letting new opportunities come to you. You are just 
shutting them all down. It's like any new any new uh, opportunity that comes to you, you shut down. Any new thought that comes to you, you shut down. It's like your passions are being ignored. You're ignoring your own passions, Virgo, by not acting on your hunches, by not making a move, by not doing what's right for you. It's like you're lacking energy, you're lacking drive, you're lacking ambition, you're lacking hope, you're lacking peace, because there's no wish fulfillment here. Oh gosh, so here we have the Three of Swords and now I'm rubbing my heart because I feel it, okay? Somebody is not letting the true growth happen that needs to happen. Okay, your wisdom comes from suffering. And right now you're suffering. You're gaining the wisdom, but you're not letting it end. Right now your heart is still bleeding. And the reason I believe that it is bleeding is because you are holding in guilt. And you're not able to forgive yourself because upright is forgiveness is needed. This is telling me that you have to start the process. You haven't. You haven't. It feels like this is the outcome. Okay, this is the outcome. You need to start the forgiveness process. You need to forgive yourself for whatever part you played in this. There's a reason for everything. This has all happened to bring you the true growth that you desire. It's happened to bring you to the spiritual existence of who you are. Okay? It's like this Hierophant card. This is the Hierophant. It is the sign of Taurus. But it's, it's about you deepening your spiritual practice, your spiritual knowing, your spiritual self. It's about you um, becoming who you are meant to be, but you're not letting it happen by staying in a situation where there's no love. And I feel like it's one-sided, okay? I feel like there's one-sided love. Like what? there's one person in the relationship, whether it's you or the other person, that has love, but I think the other one does it. I don't know who it is. Now, I feel like this is, there's two different scenarios here. Let me make sure that this is zoomed in before we go any further. Oh, I remembered. Look at that. Holy moly. Okay. I got to put this here because if I don't, somebody will surely think that uh, my video is theirs. And it's not. Um, hold on, I kind of want to keep that card in there, but I don't want to put it on the, uh, candle. Can you see it? Still no. There we go. All right. <laughs> so I see that forgiveness is needed. And I think that you could be at the beginning of forgiving yourself. You could be at the beginning of healing, starting to heal from your wounds. You know, if you have already started the legal process of a divorce, because for somebody there's a divorce or a split here. If you have already started that process, then the healing process has begun. But you haven't, you're still having, holding a lot of guilt. Okay, I see guilt here. But there's no need to feel guilty. Because this is part of the destined plan, okay? It was time, or it is time, to move away from the conflict. It is time to take action. And I feel like for some of you, you haven't taken action. And for the majority, because of that Knight of Wands up there, uh, the very first card that came out, somebody is stuck. Somebody is stuck and they aren't taking action. And they aren't taking action because they do not want conflict. But for some of you, I feel like you have taken action and you are at the beginning stages of the healing process. We're going to get some clarifiers here. Uh, 
Yeah, somebody just doesn't want to fight. It's like you're dealing with somebody who who is very... It's somebody to be cautious about. I think you're dealing with somebody who could cause a lot of trouble. You're dealing with an intense energy here. Somebody who's very intelligent. And uh, this is calling for you to be careful. And you know it. Okay? I feel like you're dealing with somebody who could be very... Um, dishonest and that's why you are you're scared you're scared to to take the steps that you need to bring this peace to your life because you don't know how this person is going to be going to react it feels it feels like you know you just want to be off you just want to be honest but if you be honest this person could could really take it the wrong way and take it to extremes and do something crazy um yeah so the thing is is that they this person or you have felt like you have put in a lot okay you felt like uh, or they felt like they had put in enough that they had given you the world you know they felt like um they were being very generous with you and the thing is, is that you feel like you can't give to this anymore. It's not fulfilling your wishes. There's no peace. There's no harmony here. And it's, you're ready to let go or you want to let go. It's like, I need to let go of this. I can't hang around here anymore. I think you guys have been sacrificing a lot. You're sacrificing yourself. That's what I see. You're sacrificing your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. To keep peace in the household. Because this person, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. And nothing is going to change until you until you do something about it. Okay, it's like you've been waiting for things to change and just letting things go and pretending that everything's okay and your ships aren't coming in. Things aren't changing because nobody's taking any action. It's like nobody is taking any action here. You don't you can't see any future with this person. You can't. It's like you're not even thinking about the future with whoever you're dealing with. All right? It's like I can't see the future with you, but I'm scared to leave. I'm scared to leave because I committed to you. But I don't see the future, and there's really no growth here because you don't want it to grow. You know, you're just hanging on in despair when it's time to struggle through this, you must. When the hangman comes out, it says you must struggle through this. You are resisting this change out of fear. You're stuck in a predicament that you're scared to get out of because you don't want the conflicts. And you have guilt. But it is time. It's time to broaden your horizons. It's time for you to focus on you. It's time for you to take the steps that you need to take. You have to be practical, remember? Isn't it time to take the practical approach? It's not about the materialistic parts of life. It's really about love. And that's where the decisions lie. That's why this indecision card is here. And now I put it right next to the Seven of Cups. It's, it's perfect. It really is. Because it's not about materialistic things. It's about love, right? Right? It's not about what the person you're with can give you or the house they can give you or the nice things, is it? Something is not all as it seems, and I think that's you. I think you're wearing a mask with that shadow card. 
You are wearing a mask. You are pretending that everything is okay when everything is not. And it feels like you are dying inside because of it. And this is supposed to be for February 2018. This is taking the steps to build a new foundation. Taking the practical approach. Taking the responsible approach. It's time to expand your horizons. It's time to find your inner strength. And it's time for a change. It's time to time to stop pretending. It's time to start stop juggling. And you want to know what you're juggling? Should I go or should I stay? Should I go or should I stay? It's time to stop. And the Two of Pentacles comes out. It's time to bring balance back. It's time to trust yourself. It's time to have faith. It's time to make a decision. And it's time to make a choice. And it's a time of change. You want to know about love. Is there any love here for Virgo? Ah. <sighs> You know, I feel like you're blocking love or love is being blocked at this point, okay? <laughs> it's like there's no love at this point because there's no peace. I feel like you guys are, are feeling very mentally restless in your current situation. You're not being honest with yourself. You're not being honest with the other person. You're trying to observe the situations like you're just watching and waiting for the universe to change this. Oh, please, oh, universe, just change this for me so that I don't have to have any part in it. You don't want the trouble. But you're blocking the truth. You're blocking your emotions and you're blocking love from coming into your life by just hanging around in a spot that you don't want to be in. There's no love. I just asked about love. We get the Ace of Cups. The main love card. Reversed. There is no new love. There are no love beginnings. As long as you stay in this situation that you're in. You are in a situation of feeling guilty. Of feeling down. Of having doubt of having fear, of being mentally restless. Did I say guilt? Of having guilt? By not focusing on the future? Do you expect new love to come in if you don't, if you don't focus on the future? If you stay in the past, in a situation where there's no love, then that is the consequence of your decision. The Seven of Cups means be careful what you own because what you own owns you. And that is what this card means. So should you stay in the current position you are in, that's where, where you will stay and you will not feel loved. You are actually blocking love. You're blocking love by not being honest. How can they get some love? Virgo wants some love. Come on now. Please. You know, this Six of Pentacles tells me it's a time of generosity of some sort. It's a time to give and receive. So, you know, that's the giving and receiving card. So let's just see what we got here. <laughs> it's time to stand up for yourself. If you want love, you have to stand up for yourself. Stand strong. You're the boss of your life, aren't you? Who's the boss anyway?
You have to you have to give in to yourself. You have to take care of your own needs. What is this three of cups? It's the truth. It's the raw truth. I think many of you are looking for somebody else. You're looking for somebody else. And it's time to accept the truth. It's time to admit the truth. We have the raw truth being given to you right now, here, right now. This is a gift from God. This is the truth. This is the power to change your situation, Virgo. You are being given the power to stand up for yourself and to celebrate yourself. Give the gift of love and happiness to yourself. You have the power. <laughs> you guys are involved in a situation where you have reached a dead end. Okay, you've reached a dead end. It's like, it's over, it's over. But you just won't accept it. And I know I'm repeating myself, but the cards are saying it. What can I say? This is the death of a situation. The death of an idea. It's the end. It's a time to, to heal. It's a time to recuperate. It's a time to let it go, let it end. Broaden your horizons. Have faith and trust in yourself. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's time to take a stand. It's time to be loyal. It's time to be honest. It's time to be disciplined. And realize that you have all that it takes. You are in control. You are in power of your own life. You've been unhappy for a while now. There's a lot of unhappiness here, but you have the power to start over. You have the power to renew your spirit. But you're letting the fear drive. You're letting fear take over. You there's there's this the moon card is a place where fear and mysteries live. Okay? The fears are driving your life. There's a cycle here that needs to end. It's time for you to start a new cycle, but you're not doing it. You're not looking at life from a new perspective, and now it's time. It's time for you to have a new outlook. It's time for you to look at it from a new perspective. It's time for you to um, <coughs> be independent. Take care of yourself. I feel like you, it's time for you to be assertive, and you haven't been. I think this is a month of us being assertive to the point where you're giving to yourself first. It's time to put yourself first, Virgo. There are hidden forces here. Something is not all that it seems, and I think it's you. I think you're put it, wearing this mask, okay? I think that you are wearing this mask that the whole world can see, and they, that makes you, you know, everything is great. This is, they're great, they're great. When everything is not great, it's not great. And I think you're being called to be honest with yourself. Be honest with the other people involved. Be truthful. Speak your mind. I feel like for some of you, you are starting 
this process. You're starting to look at things from a new perspective. You're starting to forgive yourself. You're starting to open up. You're starting to come up with the plan. You know, you're starting the process. But I feel for others, you're still stuck, really, really, really stuck where you don't want to be stuck. And I think the reason that you don't want to be stuck is because you, or you don't want to get unstuck is because you don't want conflicts. I can't bring this conflict into my life. Oh, please, God, just you take care of it. If you could just take care of this, that would be great because then I wouldn't have to. You know, there's fear here. <coughs> You're holding in some pretty big secrets, Virgo. Yep. You're holding them in. You're keeping. You're 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 just the silence is within you. You're using this. You're you're keeping the silence within you, and you're the the action that you are not taking is building up and building up and building up, and eventually it's going to explode. You're going backwards. You're going backwards by not letting it out. You are, there's karma here and you have a lesson to learn. This is a karmic lesson. And you aren't letting it happen because you aren't moving on. You guys are involved in a situation that you do not want to be in and you can't move out of it out of fear. And that is the karmic lesson. Fear of conflict. Fear of guilt. You're feeling guilty for something, for following your own path. Part of your spiritual awakening is following your own path. And with this card right here, reversed, it's telling me that you are not doing that. You're not listening to your intuition. You're not following your inner guide. You're just denying it. I see a lot of denial here. <laughs> You've forgotten how strong you are. You have forgotten all the wisdom you have gained throughout your life. You have forgotten that you can take care of yourself. One of the reasons you're staying in this situation is out of pride. You don't want to let other people down. It's not about other people, Virgo. It's about you. When you can learn to honor yourself, everything else falls into place. Yeah, if you want a new beginning, if you want new growth, if you want a new partner, you are going to have to take action. Ah, it's in your hands. I love it. That card says that the outcome is in your hands. It's the indecision card. What do you do? Do you stay or do you go? When this card comes up, it means that right now the future is cloudy, but it's in your hands. If you want to clear that crystal ball, you have the power to do that. The path in front of you, it's there. All you have to do is open your eyes, open your heart, open your mind, and take the steps. You know what it is anyway. You know what it is. The outcome is yet to be revealed because it's all in your hands. I can't give you the outcome. That's why this card came up. Because it's in your hands. Indecision. Should you stay or should you go? Which path do you take? Let's give Virgo some advice, please. Oh, take the new door. Take the new path, please. It's the two of wands. This is take the new road. That is your advice. 
take the new road stop wearing the mask stop pretending stop hiding behind the scenes stop living in a fake reality it's time to make a decision and take the new road Virgo that's what this card says you have the opportunity for new growth for a new path to follow your passions being offered to you this month but you are will be forced to look at this from a new perspective instead of the new perspective is instead of sitting back and waiting for the universe to just change it all you have to take action you need to look at this as a time of growth a time of rebirth a time of passion you know instead of thinking oh i can't and and this will impact everybody so much and that kind of thing you need to think about you that's what i mean you need to look at things from a new perspective from the perspective of your own reality your own reality somebody wants to get out of a commitment somebody no longer wants to be committed this is the commitment card but it's reversed I don't know who this is for it will this reading will not resonate with everybody but somebody wants to get out of a commitment but they're not letting themselves but this month it could happen with, the, with this Two of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, there could be a breakup. There could be the end. This could be the end. It could be the month where you decide to take that new road. To honor yourself. To follow your own path with the hair font way, way below being the basis of the reading. This could be the month that you decide to follow your own path. To believe in yourself. To do what's right for you. Perhaps you actually get the guidance you've been seeking. You get the answers and you do take action. You decide to look at it in a new light. You decide to accept the reality. You decide to stand up for yourself. You decide to take it in your own hands. And you decide to let the growth happen. Get you a couple of these. Ooh, love it. Be honest with yourself. Daydream. <clears throat> I'm going to read the daydream card first. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels wings now that is your card that is what your reading is about being honest with yourself it's time it's time to be honest for your with yourself there is a new door a new path to go down should you choose to accept it if you keep living in the past where you are not happy, not feeling loved, not in love, whatever the case may be, feeling mentally restless, feeling guilty, feeling unhappy, feeling dead inside, if you continue to, do, to live there, be prepared to live with the consequences of that choice. The fact of the matter is, is it is time to be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. 
It is safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your, your true desires. And they'll come to you upon angels' wings. It's time for you to do what is right for you this month. And you need to have faith and trust in the divine and in yourself and in your journey. The time is now to make a decision. That's what I have, Virgo, for February. I'm sure it's not what you wanted to hear. I can't change it. Only you can.